What's going on everyone? It's Adam here from Adam's Nintendo World and GamesReviews.com with another live stream of Story of Seasons Pioneers of Olive Town on Nintendo Switch. Um, as we were saying previously, some of the uh, Story of Seasons videos have started to take a nosedive in terms of how many people would watch them and stuff like that. But the last couple live streams have done incredibly well and... Um, I'm having fun playing the game still, so we're gonna keep go we're gonna keep going at it and keep playing. I see quite a few folks here already. Darren, BX, Pecan, welcome, welcome, everyone. Um, this COVID shot I got two days ago is kicking my butt, and um, after doing some yard work today in the blistering heat, I got a lot of sleeping done, and I can't sleep now. So. I could either just lay there and be miserable, or I could hang out with all of you guys and uh, and uh, play some Story of Seasons, and I think that's what I'm going to do. Let me know how the audio is going, guys. I, like I said, a little under the weather, so it's not um, the most perkiest, the perkiest I've ever been <laughs> for a stream. Um, but at the same time, uh, happy to be doing with this with you guys. Um, and hanging out this evening. Hope all is well. We will do some giveaways and uh, and things like that later on in the episode. But mostly, I kind of just want to chat with you. We've had some pretty lively chats lately. And so if we can keep that up, uh, I think that'd be awesome. So if you feel like chatting with me, get in the chat. Let's have a great discussion. We'll be doing some giveaways uh, throughout the night. So stay tuned. But otherwise, uh, let's hop in. Let's hop in. Usually we would do our little preamble where we talk about all of our fantastic Patreon supporters, but we'll get to them as the episode goes. And just getting her butt kicked by something too. I just need to read what it is. Uh, I'm getting my butt kicked in Scooby-Doo, Scooby Swamp by zombies, if that helps. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I don't want to get my butt kicked by zombies. Not at all. <laughs> but hello, Ange, how are you? Happy to see you in the chat as always. Let's see here. It's going to clean up some crap. Ah, that's good. Um, we do need to head back into the house because Lynn would like a tea. And I just needed to get sage. Uh, yeah, I can put that in the fridge and that and that and that. But what I'm really looking for... Uh, actually, you know what? Maybe I don't know what I'm looking for. Who knows? Awesome. Thank you, BX. BX letting me know that the audio is just fine. And she says she won. Good. Fantastic. This is Ranger, my very first dog. More importantly, though, Alexis and Kyrie, two of my awesome Patreon supporters. Alexis and Kyrie, thank you so much for your kind support of the channel. Like I said, folks, if you would like to join up on Patreon and get your own character uh, animal in the game, as well as uh, getting named in, in uh, uh, you'll also be getting named in um, Pokemon when that comes out later. Your favorite Pokemon will get named after you. Uh, you can find a link down in the description box. You can join for as little as $3 a month. Hello, Kirby Geek. How are you? Kirby Geek is in the house. Actually, Kirby Geek, you've been around for like multiple episodes lately. Like lots of episodes. I'm loving it. Loving seeing you in the chat as well. And Pecan, as always, BX. Darren is here, I think. It's a good night. It's a good night. Okay. We're getting a slow start to the day. Oh, shoot. Um, <laughs> I'm losing it. I gotta go dump all this stuff I wanted to put in my fridge. Hey, Amber is here. Talica, Vinicius is here. How are you guys? Yeah, late night stream. Um, this is what happens when you're not feeling well. And uh, you've spent the entire day sleeping, and so really, what else are you gonna? <laughs> what else are you gonna do? All right, we need to take this all out and deal with that. Uh, we most definitely need to do that. There we go. Okay, I should look at building some more makers as well. Uh, hey everyone! Wow, this is a good. This is a good start to the stream. Usually, I'm um, I'm like, hey, we're gonna hit ten. We're gonna hit ten, but we're way past ten. We're way past 10. Okay. Um, what do I need for this? Lumber and silver. And cheese. Lumber and it's just lumber and silver. Okay. 
Let's get some lumber and some silver. We got plenty of silver. And we should have plenty of lumber as well. And let's um let's make uh, let's make one of those. Hey Holly! Holly, a fantastic Patreon supporter checking out the stream tonight. We'll see Holly's little bunny in just a little while. I do have to apologize to, uh, I didn't want to make that, that was an accident. I do have to apologize to Holly, she did want the bunny named after her, her niece, I think it was, or maybe, yeah, I think it was a niece, and, uh, I failed, I failed very bad at that, so Holly, I'm sorry, but when we get you another bunny, we will definitely name it after whoever you wanted it named after, I just missed it, and it's my fault, I do miss things, um, I know Taylor and, uh, and Kyrie had uh, Metopia access codes that I completely missed, which, you know, you feel really bad about because these people support you and you said you're going to do this. And I looked all over during my Metopia stream. I was like, I know, I, I know these people sent me their Metopia stuff. I know they did. Couldn't find it anywhere. Turns out they did. And I just wasn't looking in the right spots. So sorry to them again. <laughs> all right. I need to do something about this. This has got to go. This is a mess, and I just can't live this way anymore. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. We gotta clean these trees up. Hey, you know what, Holly? Everyone's getting a second second animal in the game as I kind of go through the different Patreon tiers. So by the time we get to you again, uh, I'll chat with you so we know beforehand, and most definitely we're gonna get you hooked up with what you really wanted. I need to get these animals outside. I have not been doing that. Um, and no one has said anything, actually, which I thought was kind of weird. No one was like, hey, Adam, you should probably be putting your animals outside because it's nice out now. Nope. But we're back. We're back to doing it. Oh, man. I feel like, uh, I mean, I'm, I feel like this stream has started off really rough. <laughs> I feel like it's been a rough go. But we got a good amount of people here, although not so chatty chatty tonight, folks, which means you're probably all playing games. So if you're playing something right now, let me know what you're playing, because I'm interested. And in, I mean, I found a lot of brand new games uh, through folks who were like, hey, I've been playing this, Adam, you should check this out um, while in my streams, which is awesome. I love that you can play games and watch my streams all at the same time. That's a good time. All right. I didn't forget, but there is Andrew. Andrew is one of my Patreon supporters. That is his second animal. We have Taylor here, and we have Carmelo. Three awesome, big-time supporters of the channel. I love them all. Pecan says I'm eating dinner with the kids and checking out the stream. Well, that's a nice way to do things. What do you have in Pecan? That's, more, that's most important. Most importantly is what are you having for dinner? And can I have some? <laughs> What are you having and can I have some? <laughs> okay, I'm usually uh, not this far behind. Usually I'm feeding my animals, like my uh, barnyard animals by now, but we are way behind. Uh, my niece and I have watched most of the episodes together. That's awesome, Holly. Um, there's been a lot of them. <laughs> this is episode 109, I think. Um, so there's been, there's been plenty of content to... Uh, Plenty of content for people to digest. <laughs> no shortage. Uh, and I'm glad. I'm glad that folks have been really enjoying the content. Uh, because, oh, I don't need to do that. Hold up. Um, where are we at? A butter maker? Yes, please. Uh, yep. We just got so much stuff. Uh, cheese maker. I can go right there. And then we need to clean this up. Like this this whole day is just gonna be doing this, I think. <laughs> oh, Ange says I have a surprise for you if you let me if you let me Thursday. Sure. What do I need to do? Ange, let me know what I need to do. I like surprises. I mean who doesn't like a surprise? Oops, uh I wanna clear that away. Let's clear that away. Who doesn't like a surprise? Although, I mean, technically, I suppose not all surprises are good. <laughs> there can be bad surprises. <laughs> BX says I'm actually eating a salad at the moment. I mean, you'll win me over with a salad. I love a good salad. 
taco salad, Caesar salad, garden salad, even those like weird, wi uh, weird, um, what do you call them? I like to call them weed salads because it's just like a hodgepodge of different crap that you might find out in a garden. <laughs> uh, Amber said I just finished doing as well. You guys are all like on the west coast then, I'm guessing. Because I ate dinner like five hours ago. <laughs> it's real late here. It's uh, it is uh, 10 after 11. So... Uh, Real Sergeant Tom, how are you, my friend? Real Sergeant Tom in the chat, he says, back to the farm. Yes, back to the farm. We've been going back to the farm three streams in a row now, I think. And it's uh, been 100% worth it. So happy to be back on the farm. Uh, there's Carmelo's second animal. He has a chicken and he has a sheep. Tuna salad, macaroni salad, and potato salad are the only salads that... <laughs> the only salads that Real Sergeant Tom's eating, apparently. Holly says she wants to become a patron because she loves your video so much. That's awesome. Well, I love that she wants to do that. Or maybe she has done that with you. Uh, all these animals are all stuck back here, but Amila and Marge are two Patreon supporters, as is Shiznitz and Ada, of course, and Gladiator. All fantastic folks, but this is not Holly's character yet we're gonna get to holly's character in just our character animal in just a moment this has been a really bad day this has been a bad day for for story of seasons i should be doing a lot more than what i am oops these animals are all upset i'm sorry holly i'm so sorry here is holly holly there you are <laughs> you're upset because i didn't feed you and olga olga is not a patreon supporter but Olga has made some very large and generous donations. Amber says I'm on the East Coast, but usually end up eating dinner late. Well, this is late, Amber. This is super late. <laughs> That's okay, though. Alright, last barn. It's already like, what time is it in the day, in the game? Like 2 o'clock? Like, this is terrible. Alright, the rest of the Patreon supporters are in here. Gladiator. Jennifer, named by Kyrie. And let's get Gladiator nice and happy. Um, Andrew. You saw Andrew's other animal. This is Andrew's first animal right here. This could be you guys if you wanted to. If you could join up with Holly. There's Shiznitz. Uh, Catherine was a Patreon supporter for a while. doesn't matter if you are and, and you stop being one as long as I still have room in my barns. Like Aurora and uh, like Aurora and Catherine, you, keep, uh, you continue being in the game. That's just how it works. Don't forget the food at dinner at nine. <laughs> All right, there we go. All right, it is 2.07. I still have to water here. I still have to water at the Maple Grove or whatever it's called. The Red Maple, the whatever, the autumn area. Hey, Golden Eye, how are you, my friend? I think uh, I've waited too long. I usually start at, uh, it's 11.13 here. Yeah, same as me then. We're in the same time zone. Let's do a uh, let's do a giveaway. Hashtag Xbox in the chat. We'll pick a winner in just a little bit. But uh, get those hashtags going because I do want to give out some prizes, guys. I got lots of stuff to give away as I owe, as always. If I still owe you something, feel free to ping me. Um, some people say, well, I don't want to ping you because I don't want to be a nag, and it's it's not being a nag. There are times when I forget. Um, it happens. I'm juggling a lot of things with the channel. Um, and sometimes I bite off more than I can chew, which is my own fault, but, uh, never feel bad about sending me a message and being like, Hey, you owe me, uh, you owe me something and just let me know what it was. And I can always check. I mean, I just, uh, I just assume people are going to be honest about it, but I mean, if I need to, I can, I can go back and <laughs> check and be like, Oh yeah, I do owe that person that. Um, so, never feel bad. There we go, lots of folks here. Real Sergeant Tom getting in on the action. Amber's getting in on the action. Goldeneye, BX, Pecan. Yeah, guys, get in on it. 100%. Okay, uh, I did not mean to do that. Let's go. There we go. Okay. Vinicius. 
course. Of course. Uh, man, um, I feel like I'm getting too many animals. Like, I feel like I've just got too much stuff to do on the farm. <laughs> I don't have enough time to actually clean things up. Um, not that I ever do clean anything up. I really should, though. My farm's a mess. An absolute mess. Uh, oops. Do I not have room to put that? Hmm. Nope. Here? There we go. Alright. Real Surgeon Time says my son has a little stuffed moose from this game. Yeah, it was one of the, um, it was one of the pre-order bonuses. It was pretty cool, actually. I didn't get it, unfortunately. I would love to get them. Um, I wish I would start it. I would have started a long time ago when they first started giving out these pre-orders. But I was, like, pretty young. And my parents were not about to pre-order games just so I could have little stuffies to collect. <laughs> that wasn't happening. So I just missed out on all the cool stuffies. Because they've been doing pre-order bonuses, I want to say, for over two decades. Or at least a decade. Like, it's been a long time. And, uh, nope, I was never fortunate enough to, um... I was never fortunate enough to get those pre-order bonuses, but that's okay. Okay, let's end the town, because I do want to get a pregnancy kit for the chickens, and I want to get a pregnancy kit for the barnyard animals, because we do have to get our Patreon supporters doubled up in the game. Ange says she's missed quite a few mice herself. I think he's played more of this game than Animal Crossing. Um, Yeah, I mean, I think a lot of people have. I don't think I'm there yet. I've got about 350 or maybe 400 um, hours into Animal Crossing. So, And I've been redoing my island because a lot of people have asked to see it. And I said, yes, I will show it to you. But uh, most definitely need to... Ooh, I don't want to get... Yeah, I'm going to wait for Shiznets to grow up before I give him so I can get a level 6. Okay, uh, chicken breeding kit. Same thing here, eh? Hmm. Yeah, darn it. Um, so I guess I'm just kind of playing the waiting game, actually. Yeah, I miss the good pre-order items from the olden days. I miss, yeah, pre-order items have gone downhill. Um, there's very few pre-order bonuses that I'm ever actually... That I would ever say, oh, I'm really looking forward to that. I don't think that really exists for me anymore. Um, however, that being said, the pins, at least in EB, at EB Games in Canada, when you pre-order Mario Golf, you can get a set of two pins. And ever since they did the My Nintendo or the Nintendo points, the, the, the Mario 35 pin sets, which I got both of. I got one of each pin set. And ever since those pin sets... Um, I've been real intrigued by Nintendo pins, so I'm actually really excited. Really excited for those Mario Golf pins that I can get from EB Games. Um, enough so that usually I pre-order at Best Buy, because my wife works there, so uh, we get a small little discount on video games. Um, so it makes sense to pre-order there over other retailers because I save some money. But on this one, I said, no way, Jose. I'm pre-ordering this at EB Games because I want those pins. <laughs> strategy guides at GameStop, you get 10% off you bought the game, the guide together in one purchase. Yeah, I feel like strategy guides aren't as cool anymore either. And I think the biggest issue now with strategy guides is first, very few of them actually make it into print. Like the last strategy guide I bought was Mario Odyssey. I got the hardcover one, and I still have it because it's just a fantastic little book. But a lot of those guides now are going uh, PDF for your iPad or your iPhone, and uh, I don't know. It's not the same to me. In my opinion, I don't... It's not the same. I don't know how you guys feel about that. I got one. I love the pens. Yeah, and she says she loves the pens. Yeah, you don't have to... I, not even five bucks? Goldeneye? I thought you had to put down five bucks at uh, EB Games. Maybe not, though. I could be wrong. I probably am wrong. Since the pandemic, I've stopped pre-ordering from GameStop for the bonuses. I like doing so in person for physical items, digital DLC codes on the receipt. Yeah, I, I just think the the whole the whole pre-order bonus crap has really gone downhill. A lot of companies are like opting to do that, like 
hey, get this free digital item in the game if you pre-order. And I'm like, a, a cosmetic item for my gun is not enough to make me pre-order at your retailer. Now, if I always pre-order at your place, like at EB Games, okay, that's one thing. But Walmart giving me a free um, skin for a gun, if I don't normally shop at Walmart because I'm not a big fan of Walmart, it's not going to make me go to Walmart to pre-order. Even, even if EB Games is not offering me that free cosmetic thing for my gun. It's just not enough. And I find more and more companies aren't they're not giving me enough. There, there's no reason for me to go to one over the other. Now, that being said, the pins for Mario Golf, 100%. The pins for Mario Golf made me go to EB Games for my Mario Golf pre-order as opposed to Best Buy. Oh, that's interesting, Golden Eye. That might be like a local thing. Because I'm pretty sure when I put my pre-order down for Mario Golf and Miitopia, they charged me 10 bucks, which would be $5 each. I think. But maybe not. Maybe not. Uh, those pins are hard to get. Uh, which pins are you talking about, BX? Are you talking about the uh, Mario 35 pins? Yeah, I see them going on eBay still for crazy amounts of money. And I'm not even sure why. Because I think the second... Are the second pins still... Can you still get them? So the first set of pins, like the first pins that you got right after... Um, Right after Bowser's Mario 3D World. No. Which game launched first that you got the first set of pins with? I don't remember. It was like right after that, like the pins were gone in like five minutes. And you couldn't get them again. But I noticed the second round of pins, there were people still claiming pins like three days later. Four days later, five days later, I saw some people going, Hey, I finished all the quests. I can go get my pins now. And I was like, what? They're still available? Yeah, really, even if you left a $5 for a deposit, if you cancel, you still have a store credit. Yeah. Yeah. Or, don't cancel, go pick up your game, and then just return it for a full credit. Yeah, I agree with you, GoldenEye. Five bucks is not a lot. It's not a big deal. Okay, I'm going to head up to bed, and then uh, we're going to pick ourselves a winner, and then get back on to the next day. All right, first winner tonight of a digital. We're going to do an eShop one coming up, folks, so to, uh, no worries. Our first winner tonight is Amber. Amber, you are the first winner tonight. Please shoot me a DM on Twitter, and I'll be sure to hook you up with your prize. Um, definitely well-deserved. Well-deserved. I'm actually heading over to Twitter just to check in on something. Yes, and Amber, FYI, because I was, I was just checking, Amber, if you're the one that won our last eShop gift card. I have ordered one through my mother-in-law from the U.S., so once uh, once she gets the code in her inbox, I will send it over to you, and you will have your eShop prize from the last stream, or two streams ago. I forget. I didn't forget, though, Amber. I didn't forget. All right, so let's talk to Lynn and make her her tea as we always do in the morning herb tea yes and yes cook there we go yeah for sure congratulations to amber amber do you prefer i don't call you amber i know you only came on as amber once and now it's just like stuck in my head <laughs> oh man all right she likes it how are we doing oops nope how are we doing in terms of hearts? We need five to get that baby. We're not even at two. That's garbage. That's hot garbage. Okay. Let's hurry it up over to our barns and kick all these animals outside to graze. Oh, we're going to get a cutscene, I think. Otherwise, it wouldn't be loading. Oh, nope. Just a long load screen. That was weird. That was really weird. Ah, I keep hitting B. And I don't know what game it is that you... Oh, an Animal Crossing. I think you press B to run, if I'm not mistaken. Man. Apologize for my voice, guys. I know it's a bit raspy. Um, and I didn't mean... I don't mean to do that to you. <laughs> I really don't. 
All right, good morning, chickens. How are you? Oh, I just realized I forgot to scroll back down to see what all new chats are happening. Talika Lynn is the gaming name for Amber, and she said it doesn't matter. Okay. Hey, Danny, how are you? Danny's in the house tonight. You know what I would be doing if I wasn't doing this right now, guys? I'd just be watching Scrubs. I'm re-watching Scrubs on Disney+, Plus and I love it. But I would much rather be here with you guys streaming. Although I'm losing my voice, I can tell already. But that's okay. I'll push through for you guys and don't feel bad about it. We have 21 folks checking out the stream tonight. Thank you everyone so much. It does make me so happy inside. Seeing all you guys here. And I love just chatting. Like that's the best part. Having a good time and just chatting about games. Alright, we're going to check in on Holly and see if her mood has improved. Holly, how's your mood? Your mood improved, Holly? Let me know. <laughs> oh, man. Sir, I didn't see Sir pop in. Sir, how are you? Alright. FYI, folks, if you do subscribe and you are not a subscriber right now to the channel, we will get a nice little animated pop-up for you if you do subscribe during this stream. I mean, it's pretty sweet. I gotta change it up, though. For all those that have been here, Holly, you are happy. <laughs> uh, I'm good, and I'm putting baby to sleep and almost passing out myself. Yeah. Um, I slept all day, so, <laughs> so I have nothing to do. Amber says, so I discovered that I can use GIFs for icons on my stream deck. I'm never going back. I need to get a stream deck. That's something I want. Amber, tell me the benefits of a stream deck. Because I, I know that there are benefits to a stream deck, but tell me what they are. Like in, in layman's terms. In layman's terms. As easily as possible, explain to me why I want a stream deck. It just allows me to quickly do things, right? Like, what can I do with that? Can I, like, pop up stuff on the screen and stuff? Is it worth the investment? See, we're doing a much better job today because it's 9.45 in the game and we're almost done taking care of all our animals, which is, like, unheard of <laughs> for me. Because I'm always getting, like, sidetracked. I have, like, ADHD, I think. I'll go places... And then, like, as I'm running back here to take care of all the animals, I'm like, ooh, I should do that. Ooh, I should do that. Ooh. And I just screw myself. <laughs> hey, Vlad, how are you? Vlad in the house. We're going to do more giveaways as well as an eShop code giveaway tonight, guys. So stay tuned. Stick with me. We're going to do that in the second half of the stream. I'll be kicking that off in probably actually just a couple minutes. Oops. There we go. I don't even stream and I love it. I use it mainly for work. I can open up every page I need for work with the press of a button. So essentially it's just a hotkey, right? But like in a deck. So as opposed to using like keyboard hotkeys, which I can do with Streamlabs if I set it up properly. Like I could use Streamlabs to set some hotkeys, but my hands are on my controller and I don't want to like put the controller down to start hotkeying things. So if I had a stream deck, I could just like take one hand off my controller and tap something and I'd be good to go. Uh, for streaming, you can program it to do my, pretty much anything. I have games programmed that I can just open by pushing a button. Yeah, that's insane. And the problem is, I feel like they, by calling it a stream deck, they've really sold it short. Because I could see that being beneficial for work. Like, my databases that I use for, for work, being able to, like, pull them up instantly would be just amazing. Like, whoever is marketing that is selling that product short. Everyone's happy to see Vlad. Of course we're happy to see Vlad. Alrighty. Um, what to do? I think we can go back into town today. Although I think the animal shop is closed on Tuesdays. You know what? Let's go to the Sprite Village. And see what's going on there. We haven't been there in a couple days. Probably worth taking a look and just seeing what we can maybe do. 
After we do this, of course. <laughs> oh, man. And this is when I start having that internal debate with myself about whether we ha I have too many animals and too many things on the go. Like, is this worth it? Now, mind you, I have all these animals named after you great folks. So I'm happy to go look at them every day because it just reminds me of the fantastic people that support the channel. But at the same time, I'm like, all these animal products, like, it's so much work. Um... Danny says, I keep wanting to go back to this game to finish everything, but since I started Pokemon Quest, I haven't had time for it. Pokemon Quest? I should go back to Pokemon Quest. I miss Pokemon Quest. Dang it. <laughs> Why did you put that in my ear, Danny? Come on. <laughs> I'm not mad, actually. Ooh, I don't want to sell... I mean, I'm just going to sell this because I don't feel like holding on to it. Um, yeah, whatever. But I don't want to sell that. Okay, let's, um, let's do this, and then we'll head over to the animal village, and, or the, uh, sprite village, and then after that, I think we'll kick off that eShop giveaway. Talica, Amber says, beats using win plus X and then choosing the sleep option. <laughs> yeah, uh, for sure. Oh, I missed that. I uh, agree with that. I had paid for it. It was just how I use it for work. I even a button program to restart my computer and to put it to sleep at night. Yeah, see, I need that. So ever since I started working at home, I've been really bad at putting my computer to sleep. And I have a lot of, like, sensitive stuff on my computer for the province of Ontario. Um, and it's, I mean, it's all password protected, so I close my lid. But I should really, like, put it to sleep. <laughs> It's like no one could really get in because if they pop the screen open, they'd have to put in a password. The only thing that putting it to sleep would change is that they'd have to press a button to wake it up and then put in a password. So I guess it's not really a big deal. <laughs> I have 10. Okay. I want to see what happens if I put 100 somewhere. If nothing happens, I'm going to be so angry. Nope. Give me something. What? I thought like a little achievement would pop or a... Uh... Dang, that stinks. <laughs> That's a big letdown. Yeah, Pecan, thank you so much, my friend. Please hit that like button if you're enjoying the content. I don't have anything for you today. You never do. Field Sprite? Not bad. Ooh, someone went up a level. What? Did you just tell me to empty my bag? Ah, oh, dang it. Okay. Um... I don't need all this stuff. So, let's do this and then talk to you. I have something for you. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. Let's go to, um, let's go to the Ancient Lake. Amber says, I convinced a friend of mine to get one and he doesn't stream either. <laughs> I mean, you've sold me on one already. I think I might go buy one. How do I make sure you get the commission for that? <laughs> You need an affiliate link, Amber. <laughs> oh, man. Love it. Alright. So this is the ancient lake, in case you don't know. And we're using the pump to empty out the lake. And at the bottom, there'll be a treasure chest full of... Oh, I mean, it might be full of crap, but... I hope it might be full of something good. Who knows? Alright. Nope, we got one more place to go. Red Maple Gardens. Okay. Um, I need my watering can. I don't know why I haven't put sprinklers in here yet. Like, it seems like a big old waste of time to come here and water everything by hand. Probably should have done some sprinklers. <laughs> Probably. Oops. There we go. <laughs> I wish you could get some commission. Yeah, for sure. Kind of how I felt when I used to talk to people about Apple products. Are you a big Apple fan, Amber? I use an iMac. That's the only Apple product I use. In terms of phones, I'm a Pixel. I prefer Google Pixel phones. Although I'm using the new, I'm reviewing the new TLC 20 Pro. 
which is actually a pretty darn good phone from TCL. TCL, not TLC. TLC is a channel. TCL. <laughs> I'm doing the TCL phone. It's a pretty good phone. And um, I wasn't really expecting it, to be honest. I didn't think it was going to be as good as I, it's been. I've been very impressed with it. Very impressed. Okay, everyone. Um, in the chat, would love if you put in hashtag Nintendo Switch. We're going to kick off a Nintendo Switch giveaway because uh, people seem to like those. And uh, I like doing them. Um, do have to give a big shout out to Carmelo. Carmelo has been uh, very... Oops, I don't have that one, I don't think. Uh, Carmelo has been very generous with his donations as of late. And uh, when he donates like that, it gives me the opportunity, of course, to give away more stuff. <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with giving away more stuff. At least not in my opinion. So hashtag Nintendo Switch. Let's give something away. You do not need to be um, always in the chat to win these things, by the way. Some, someone asked me once, hey, do I have to be like talkative to win prizes? No, of course not. I love having you here. Some people don't like to talk. I'm not going to force you to talk. That seems kind of rude and kind of mean. Um, so no, it's not going to improve your odds or anything like that. But uh, if you feel comfortable chatting, I love chatting with you guys. So, And I know the eShop gift codes, gift card giveaways are popular. People like those. It has a Nintendo channel. I really should be doing more of them, to be honest. <laughs> I really should be doing more. Hey, Seth, how are you? Don't be fooled by the last name. We most definitely are related. <laughs> it's not a very common last name. Seth's my younger brother. And he's always bugging me to stream late. So it turns out me being sick is the only way I could stream late. So you're in luck tonight, Seth. You're in luck tonight. All right. Hashtag Nintendo Switch. We're going to be giving away that eShop gift code towards the end of the stream, um, as we always do with that one. Deliver a dish. Okay. Hot and sour soup, tempura, and udon. I don't really want any of those stupid prizes, but I might need them. We have that Nintendo Xbox deal in a week. Who knows? Yeah, it's true. We could. All your giveaways are awesome, says Ange. And that's that's coming from Ange, who doesn't have an Xbox, so she always misses the uh, she always misses out on those giveaways. Amber says my husband's name is Seth. Not the same Seth. <laughs> no, Amber, because that would make us related then. <laughs> uh, not too shabby. Happy to have a late stream. Yeah. It's always nice when your family supports what you do. I hope you guys have had a chance to check out all of Lachlan's streams. He is having a blast streaming for all of you guys. Um, his last stream, I think, was just a general... Um, was just a Metopia stream, I think. But he's super excited this Friday night. Um, actually, it's going to be Friday afternoon at 4 o'clock. He is going to be streaming game builder garage from nintendo that's their new coding game for kids 8 to 13 he's only seven but he's pretty smart for his age so we think he's going to be all right um the game actually supports mouse and keyboard so we'll be hooking a mouse and keyboard into our nintendo switch dock and playing the game that way but if you're on the fence about game builder garage or you just want to know more about the game which i think there's a lot of people in that boat who are like Tell me more about this game because I'm not, I'm not really sure if it's something I want to. I just think there's a lot of people that aren't sure if it's something they want to spend money on, which is fair. I think that's a fair criticism. The game has not been marketed very well, in my opinion. Uh, I think Nintendo has dropped the ball uh, trying to hype people up for this release. But Lincoln's going to, or Lachlan's going to be playing it on Friday about 4 p.m. if you want to come check it out and see how hard coding is for a seven-year-old. I think he's going to have a, like a, I think he's going to have a tough time with it. 
the the big thing with Lachlan, the big reason why he's so excited is because he used stream donations. A bunch of you uh, provided donations to him during his streams and said, hey, Lachlan, this, uh, this is for you. And so he's actually used that money to pre-order the game. So he's really excited to actually use the money that you guys have provided to him to, to show you something he's excited about, which I thought was kind of fun. And uh, he's he's so looking forward to uh, to Friday, guys. He's so looking forward to it. If you can make it out, that'd be amazing. If you could share it with friends and have them come out, that would be amazing. I'm, I'm hoping to get a nice good crew out uh, for Lachlan's stream. Really am. Learning how to code at any time in your life will prove to be a valuable asset, says Seth. I agree. I agree. What else? Someone said mm, tempura. I do love some tempura. I love tempura so much. Although I'm not a big fan of vegetable tempura, but give me some shrimp tempura. Yeah, baby. Real Sergeant Taps, I'm really looking forward to seeing what the game offers. I'll watch this week to see what my son might do with it. Yeah, I think it's going to be... I mean, I if, if you read my good friend John's uh, preview up on Best Buy, I think it's up on the website for the game. It's, uh, it scales difficult. Like, they're saying 8 to 13. Uh, I've watched some pre-coverage from, like, Nintendo Life. They had a video up and stuff like that. Man, I'm really skeptical that that game's for 8 to 13. It looks pretty... I mean... Some of the some of the games look pretty easy to code and to create, but some of those are pretty intense. Like they're pretty intense games, and so I'm skeptical that Lachlan's going to be able to do this. But he spent, you know, he spent his forty bucks on it, uh, so I'm I'm really hoping that he's going to like it. Like like the dad in me will be so disappointed if he's disappointed. <laughs> So I'm really hoping that this is going to turn out pretty well for him. At the end of the day, I don't actually care if he's any good at the coding. I just want him to have a good time. Amber says, I took coding classes back when I was doing my bachelor's in IT. Still couldn't get all of it. Java is the only thing I could catch on to. It, <laughs> Real Sergeant Stop said, it all started with me learning how to code my VCR one day. <laughs> And now, Real Sergeant Tom, there's a lot of people that don't know what a VCR is. <laughs> oh, man. Um, I always, you know, I like to push that Nintendo eShop gift card giveaway right to the end of the stream. But while we wait, let's do another hashtag Xbox as well. We'll pick that one ahead of the end and then pick the, um, we'll then pick the Nintendo Switch one as kind of the, the grand finale for the stream tonight. I hated VCRs. There was nothing worse than hooking your VCR up, putting a tape in, hitting record for something you really wanted to watch, and then it not working. And I feel like it, it didn't work way more often than it did work. <laughs> I feel like that's honestly what would happen most of the time. Uh, right, <laughs> record uh, Programming time. <laughs> Real Sergeant Tom says I feel old. I mean, not that old. Right? Like, I don't know, Real Sergeant Tom. I don't know how old you are. But, I mean, I don't feel old. I had a VCR. I knew the ins and outs of a VCR. And how much they sucked. <laughs> how much they really, really sucked. Seth says, Java is good to learn, but Python is the new go-to language for programmers. Yes, it really is. I took some computer programming, um, but only enough to make, like, yes, no games and things like that, or stupid little games that no one would ever play because they're boring as hell. <laughs> Vlad says I loved my VCR. <laughs> I bet you did. Real solid time, just like cassette tapes. Kids, they will never know the struggle. Of actual fast forward and rewind on a cassette tape. <laughs> oh, I remember cassette tapes too, man. Real Sergeant Top says he turns 45 this month. Well, you've got me. You've got me by many years, Real Sergeant Tom. Many, many years. Like a solid 12. 
That's okay, though. It just means you're wise. <laughs> I think that's it, real Sergeant Tom. You're just wise. And we would all be silly not to listen to you. Hey, Eddie, how are you? Eddie in the house tonight, guys. All right. I think we have enough time to do at least one more day. I remember those, says Angie. Yeah, of course. Who doesn't? All right. And to bed we go. Boom. Good night. Gee, thanks, says Real Sergeant Tom. <laughs> All righty. General store has expanded. 24. We might even hit 25, guys. Who knows? All right. I want to look at the calendar because I'm wondering when this stupid dog derby is. Right here. No, it's the egg hunt. Pet derby's not till the end of the month. I'm missing the stupid gold pet trophy and I want it. Like here, I've got two bronze and two gold. I've got gold on the uh, mushroom and the hammer. Bronze on the fishing and the pet one. The fishing one still rubs me the wrong way. If you guys remember, I had the winning fish on the hook. And I probably needed one more second to pull it in. That's it. One more second I could have pulled it in. Still bugs me. Alright, let's cook that. Yeah, but Seth... Seth says he remembers having them, but the only reason why Seth remembers having them is because we didn't update anything in our house. <laughs> Everyone else was on DVDs. We were still watching VCR VHSs. <laughs> oh, man. Oops. Dang it. I drank the dang tea because I wasn't paying attention. I was reading the chat. All right, let's go and make another one. Let's make another one. Hey, Edward, how are you? Oops, sorry about that, guys. Edward's in the house, and Edward brings us to 25. Thank you so much, Edward. All right, thank you so much. You better be thankful. I put this beautiful roof over your head. Is there one more house update, guys? There is, isn't there? I should go into town and see what that update is. Hmm, that load time coming out of the house is really long lately. Anybody else noticing that every morning? I leave the house and that load time is rough. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> oh, man. When you don't keep up with the uh, tech. <laughs> all right, let's start picking up all the eggs. What's up, Ren? Carmelo, Tiny, I'm doing uh, okay. The stream has given me a bit of a pick-me-up. I haven't been feeling well since I got my COVID shot a couple days ago. Um, but, you know, I made it through today. I uh, I just uh, hung out outside for a bit in the shade on the deck. And um, then we had... Uh, we had purchased the kids a trampoline a couple days ago and finally decided to put that together. So in other words, Seth, if you feel like it, come on over and have a bounce. <laughs> have a bounce on the trampoline. All right. Orange VA test tapes from Nickelodeon. I don't even know what that is. I do remember going to the movie store, though. We rented a lot of... As a kid... We rented a lot of Tom and Jerry, and we rented a lot of um, M Mickey Mouse cartoons, but mostly the ones with, like, Donald Duck and Chippendale. We rented a lot of that stuff. Did I take the... Did I send the chickens outside? Ange says, remembers getting so many good things at yard sales. Yard sales were the best. Absolutely the best.
Yeah, I think so, Real Sergeant Tom. Although I'm, I have a busy day at work tomorrow, so there's no way I can take that off. I already took Friday off, so I'm like, uh, I better not take Monday too. Yeah, rending Chippendale. So much Chippendale. Seth, you just ignored my comment about coming over for a bounce. I think that's what you call it, right? When you jump on a trampoline, you call it going for a bounce. I'm just making that up. If it's a real thing, though, that's pretty dope. Amber says she had a whole collection of VHS tapes and somebody stole them. I remember when people collected... So you know how people collect Disney DVDs and Blu-rays? Like, it's a thing people do. So I remember some guy trying to sell, like locally here, trying to sell his VHS collection of Disney tapes a couple years ago and wanted, like, an astronomical amount of money for him. I don't think he ever got it. Um, because, like... Uh, they're not worth anything. Like, it's fun to collect. I get it. If you're a big Disney fan, okay. But, like, no one's buying your Disney VHS collection. Like, unless they're sealed. Because I think maybe they might have some value if they're sealed. But if they're not sealed, who's buying a Disney VHS collection? I'm a huge Disney fan. I'm not doing that. Always game, Seth says, for a bounce. No one's correcting me, so I'm going to continue saying it. Going for a bounce. Oh, man. I'm getting sleepy, though, so the stream actually helped me get sleepy so I can go back to bed. I still have my collection of VHS tips, and I couldn't get rid of them, says Vlad. Yeah, and they probably take up, like, a storage locker. Because <laughs> things are so dang big. Yes, but I think for them to be valuable... Amber, I think they still need to be sealed. Because I've found plenty of people trying to sell the the controversial covers. Uh, I think there's a controversial cover for Pocahontas that has been that was changed out mid mid like release of that VHS. And I'm trying to think of the other one that was very controversial. It was just like a run of the mill movie, but um, Pecan calling us your sleeping aids. Yeah, Kirby Geek says mine are in the attic. They're too big to go anywhere else. Yeah. I'm not a big collector of things. I, uh, I've i gotten rid of so much stuff. Now, we have a crap ton of Disney Blu-rays. Because for the longest time, we would collect and buy Disney Blu-rays. But um, now we essentially just buy them for the digital copy. We put the DVDs in the car for our little DVD. Like the DVD player for the kids. And then... The Blu-rays get taken off the shelf once. Because, I mean, it's on Disney+. Plus. Like, why do I need to bust out The Little Mermaid on Blu-ray when I can... Oh, that's funny. Amber just said The Little Mermaid when I said it at the same time. Um, why would I bust out The Little Mermaid on Blu-ray when I can just, you know, on my smart TV, go on over and scroll to, um, you know, my Disney Plus app, open it up and watch the movie. Streaming has changed everything. It really has. Netflix, Disney Plus, it's changed. I'm still somewhat shut. Now, I know, like, I have people that I follow on Twitter who are. Oh, man. I have all this stuff I need to put in those makers. Uh, I have people who are on. Oh, I just knocked my mic. Apologies, guys, for that. <laughs> I almost knocked my mic off the desk. I have uh, people I know on Twitter who are huge Blu ray collectors. Like, they collect Blu rays. It's what they do. I get that. I'm shocked more stuff isn't like digital only at this point. Because if if I could get a digital movie cheaper than I could... Because the reason why I'm not buying digital movies is because I can buy... For the same amount of money, I can go to the store and buy the Blu-ray DVD digital copy. And worst case scenario, like absolute worst case scenario, I take the digital copy for myself... And either sell off the Blu-ray real cheap to somebody, or even like give it to like Seth. Be like, here, Seth, have a Blu-ray. I just want the digital copy, right? Like that—that's the part that's hard for me to get over. And it's the exact same thing with video games. If I can buy something physical, I'm going to do it. Now, when you buy a physical game from the store, you don't get a digital copy with it, so you're constantly swapping discs or swapping cartridges, and so it's a—it's a tad different. 
but at the same time, I'd rather have something physical for the money I'm spending. Especially since then I can trade it in or I can sell it to somebody else. If it's digital, it just lives on my hard drive forever. Like my Xbox hard drive has 550 or maybe even, maybe we're even at 600 by now, 600 digital games on it. And I play like one of them. So it means I have like 599 games that I wish I could just sell to somebody, but I can't. They're digital. They're stuck. Kirby says, I didn't even bother collecting Blu-rays. I'm still trying to collect a few Disney movies, says Ange. Well, Ange, let me know which ones. Maybe I can find them cheap locally. Because it seems to be a lot of people around me selling Disney. Selling Disney VHSs. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Um, I'm just selling off this stuff. Because I don't feel like sorting it into anything. I just want to get rid of it at this point. There we go. Oops. We're going to head into town and see about a uh, pregnancy kit. Amber says a lot of people decided to downsize and streaming actually helps with that because they don't have to keep DVDs or Blu-rays around. I stopped buying movies altogether with all the streaming services. Yeah, uh, we always do this. We usually get either Blu-ray DVD copy that comes with a digital copy and we give it to my husband's parents because the kids will want to watch it with them too. Yeah, I'm, I'm the very much the same way. What I do think is like crazy though, um, it's like people that, like I've made this comment publicly on Twitter before and people have actually like come after me and they're like, well, you don't know everybody's situation. Maybe they can't afford, you know, Disney plus blah, blah, blah. And like part of me gets that and I don't want to be rude about it. Part of me gets that. But then this person went on to say that, you know, they need to be able to buy the five or six you know five or six disney movies a year because they buy one every couple months and i'm sitting there going by the time you've bought five or six disney blu-rays you probably could have disney plus for a year right but anyway i didn't push it i'm not big on arguing with people on twitter there doesn't seem to be a point <laughs> and says i'm dvd hunting hey you let me know let me know what movies you're looking for if i see them i will buy them and i will ship them to you wherever you are All right, folks, I am going to, oh yeah, I was going to go see how much the house costs, but I don't think Nigel's open today. Maybe he is. No, he's not. Okay. Is he on the toilet? Oh, <laughs> I thought he was sitting on a toilet <laughs> right next to his bed. Oh man. This was a fun night, guys. This really was. Thank you so much for coming out. I plan on thrift hunting soon. I look forward to a garage sailing. That's what I look forward to. All right, I'm going to scroll up. We're going to pick our next uh, Xbox winner. Our next Xbox winner tonight is... Real Sergeant Tom. Real Sergeant Tom, send me a DM, my friend. And uh, we will pick... Or, I won't pick a winner, sorry. I will send you your prize. Probably tomorrow morning, because I think I'm feeling so tired that when I finish up this day and head to bed, I might just be able to, you know lumber off i don't know what i was trying to say go off to la la land dreamland i don't know pika says i'm a physical hector as well so much so that i keep an excel spreadsheet to track and organize them i bought this the sun movies multiple times by accident <laughs> i've been going more digital now that's awesome listen i don't this is this is i am not about to crap on anybody if it's your thing to collect physical stuff like all the more power to you i collect physical switch games i love it I love buying physical Switch games. And I know that you can probably find sales on the eShop for some of those games much cheaper than what I paid for them. That being said, I love to have them. And I, the big reason why I collect... I don't even collect them. That's not even the right word. The big reason why I use physical Switch games is that... The reason why I buy physical Switch games is because we have four Nintendo Switches in the house. We had three... And I just want to give another shout out to Carmelo. Thanks to Carmelo's insane generosity. He sent us uh, a Switch Lite that he had that uh, his family was no longer using. So um, thank you so much, Danny. Oh, that's so kind of you. Thank you. That really topped off the evening. I'll have to tell Lachlan in the morning that Danny gave me five bucks. 
He'll be so jealous. There it is. <laughs> anyway, the reason why I, um, is we have four Nintendo Switches, so my wife and I each have our own, and then the three kids share the other two. And, um, and before you ask, because someone asked me this once, they're like, well, you're loaded. No, they're two of the three that I owned were review units. <laughs> anyway, Nintendo's got a really, really, really bad game sharing system. So if you're not familiar with uh, with Nintendo, you can like set one of your Switch consoles to be a primary Switch. And um, on that Switch, the whoever owns the digital game, you set them as the primary. And then anyone that plays on that Switch can play their digital games regardless of which account they're on. Which is, which is fun, right? However, on secondary Switch units, only the person who purchased the game can play the game on those systems. So, my Switch is my primary Switch, and so if my wife wants to play um, Pokemon Snap, for example, she can play it on my Switch on her account. She cannot play it on her Switch on her account, which to me is is so messed up. Like, we're a family together. There's no reason why a game that I buy, my wife shouldn't be allowed to play. Now, do I understand why? Of course, because people would abuse that system in about two seconds, right? You'd be shit. I'd probably be one of them. <laughs> hey, Seth. You're on, you're now on my family plan. Um, so it would be abused, so I understand why they don't do it, but it's super frustrating. And to get around that, we buy physical games. Does that suck swapping games sometimes? Yes. Does it suck when we go on vacation and I can't decide what games I want to bring? Yes, because inevitably, you know what's going to happen, is I'm going to pick you know five games to bring with me when I go to Florida for two weeks, and three days in, I'm going to be like, ooh, I want to play Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch. And guess what? Nino Kuni's at home because I didn't bring it. Now, I have one of those game things that holds a ton of cartridges. And I could always essentially just bring everything. But it makes me so nervous because at the same time, I'm like, if I ever lost that, I would lose like 40 games just like that. And so it makes me nervous. What's the way around it? I think I know what you're talking about, which I've done. But let me know. Which What's the way around that? And so see there. Ant says I can only buy digital if it's on the sale there. If it's uh, on sale. Yeah. Yep. And there's lots of... There's good stuff on the eShop on sale like every week it seems. And usually there's a big publisher sale. Like there was an Ubisoft sale. There was an EB game sale the next day. Then there was a 2K sale where you could get like the Bioshock and... Um, what was the other one? Bioshock and Borderlands bundles for like super duper cheap. Oh yeah. Nintendo is pretty good at having good sales. Digital sales. 100%. That's the problem we just had with my son going to Florida with my mom. I told only one game case could go with. Yeah, that's the problem. Right? I'm just so... I'm so nervous about losing those games. Because I'd be like... I love my Switch. And if there's anybody in my... Like... Outside of my wife. Because my wife, like... She could take, take her leave video games. She loves to play them. But, like, if you told her tomorrow... Hey, you're never allowed to play video games again. She would be like... Oh, okay. Like, she wouldn't care that much. My kids would be absolutely devastated if I lost all those Switch games. Uh, Amber says, if I if you set your Switch as your wife's primary console and set your wife's Switch as your primary console, you can play each other's games. Yes. So that is right, and that's what we have done. So right now, my wife... The Switch I'm playing on right now is my wife's primary Switch, and her Switch is my primary Switch. But still... Still frustrating. Still frustrating. Alright. 
that will do it, folks. Um, I'm going to pull the eShop winner in just a moment. And then I'll um, then we'll save and we'll quit and we'll go back to the main menu and I will chat with you guys for as long as you're willing to chat with me. That's a lie. I shouldn't lie. I'll chat with you as long as I feel like chatting with you. <laughs> and then we'll call it a night because it is a little after midnight here and I got to work tomorrow. So without further ado, the winner of the X or the Nintendo Switch eShop gift code tonight is... Oop, let me just make sure I got everyone. I wish I had John's system. John's system is so much better than mine. For me, I use like a, um, a randomizer on Google Chrome or just on the internet. I don't have to say Chrome. I use a randomizer on the internet and I drag everybody's name in, randomize it, and it gives me someone. John does that whole like raffle thing. I haven't figured out how to set it up with my bot yet, but I should actually um, work on figuring that out. Okay, first things first. Let's get out of here. Hop back to the main menu. Oh, there's going to be a cutscene. Yep. I don't need to. We're going to skip this. We'll do this next time. He's just telling me about the egg hunt. Give me a second here, guys. We're going to pull the winner. I'm building some suspense. Okay, let's go back to the title screen. Yes, there we go. Okay. All right. Should it be an option for the family membership? Yeah, but the family membership can be abused too, and I'm like one of those people, because like Seth's on my family plan. Should he really be? Probably not, but he is. <laughs> anyway, I gotta figure out the raffle thing. Our winner for the Nintendo eShop gift card is Darren. Darren, congratulations, my friend. You're actually fairly lucky, because Darren won... Darren won something once. Too. Oh yeah, Darren won the Story of Seasons giveaway, Darren. I think that was you. Unless there was a different Darren. Um, but anyway, Darren, you're the winner of our eShop gift card tonight. We're going to do more eShop gift cards, guys. People have been so generous to me and Lachlan in our streams. Danny tonight. Danny, thank you so much. Um, and like I've always said, guys, the money that comes into the channel is going back out. It's either going to go into new tech, uh, new gadgets uh, for me to do some stuff, which I'll talk about in just a second. But the other thing is that um, we are also... Um, we're also giving away a lot of prizes, and I love to give away prizes. So if I'm not spending the money on tech, and I'm not putting it away for something I need to upgrade in the future, which right now there's nothing I really need to upgrade, it goes into a giveaway. And so we're going to do lots more of these guys. Lots more Xbox giveaways, lots more Switch giveaways, and we'll we'll hop in some PS5s as well. Big thing coming up. Um, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2 is coming out on Nintendo Switch. I've always had a great relationship with Activision, so working on hopefully having a couple giveaway codes for that. And we'll, we'll be doing a live stream around that launch. Um, I am purchasing, it's on back order right now, but I have purchased a vlogging camera. A lot of folks have asked me, hey, what's, you know, what's life like behind the scenes for you and your family uh, with your trips and just home stuff? So we will be doing some vlogs. I don't mind giving you that insight into what my life is like with my kids um a lot of you have met lachlan and there are other kids to meet cute and not so cute things will happen on these vlogs but it's something i've been wanting to do for a long time and i hope you'll indulge me um by watching some of those vlogs as they go live that will include our disney trips to disney world as well as on disney cruise line and kind of anything else we we do in the future but that uh that camera is on back order right now, but once it comes in, we're going to do some tests with it and get going. Other than that, guys, thank you so much. It's another full week. I hope to be streaming Tuesday night, Wednesday night, Friday afternoon, Saturday afternoon, and then hopefully Sunday night or, or Saturday night or Sunday night. And I think that's the schedule. The only thing I really want to flag is Lachlan's stream. Sorry. Um, the only thing I, I just wanted to flag is that Lachlan's stream is Friday. Please, if you can, check that out. I will be sharing it around. Darren said thanks. Oh, you're welcome, Darren. <laughs> one, one, one. I'm going to guess that was a typo. Anyway, um, Lachlan's stream is Friday afternoon at 4 p.m. 
if you can check that out, guys, I would love it. He would love it. Um, he loves the support he gets. He's been doing fairly well with his Metopia streams. Um, and he's just having a blast. And he's getting better and better at streaming each and every day. So, so anytime he's live, please check him out. We are getting him his own little avatar. So you will know which episodes are just me and which episodes will feature him as well. You'll see a little Bowser Jr character caricature of Lachlan that I hope you guys will love because he's so excited about it and again he used the stream money that he's been earning to buy that so he's paid for that himself he paid for the game on Friday all by himself he's becoming a real man in front of my eyes at seven years old all right everyone thank you so much for coming out thank you again to Danny for the generous donation on your way out the door guys please hit that like button and subscribe and we'll chat again very very soon oh Lost Words, episode 2, live tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. Hopefully you saw episode 1. If not, check it out. It's on the channel now.